Knuckles Gamer on the loose, ladies and gentlemen, goes by the name of Crypto Roots. Beware of this uh, notorious uh, scammer out there. Police are doing a full search and investigation on this uh, shady character. He tends to post a lot of YouTube uh, videos about uh, mentorships and uh, financial education. And this thing they call uh, cryptocurrency. Stay away. It's all a scam. Anything he, pr he produces and presents, it's all a scam, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking for this perpetrator. He's been, he's, he's been doing this time and time again, and he keeps slipping. But we're going to catch him this time for you guys. So stay, stay close attention to the 6 o'clock Black Conscious News on Moon Metaphysics and the 21st Century of Horus and Seth. Oh my God, where is he? Where is he? Is, 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 is he coming over here? Is Crypto Roots? I, I don't, I don't want to get scammed. I don't want to get scammed by Crypto Roots. No way. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Aloha, family. So, I really uh, wasn't planning on making this video. But, it's obvious people really don't understand cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, a lot of people. And the people who claim they understand or think they understand through their comments and the way they try to explain this technology, it's, it's obvious they don't really understand. And I'm one of those people who understands that you'll never fully, fully understand Bitcoin. And that's what I find so much beauty in it. So, I got deep in the game of the world of cryptocurrency. And I realized throughout my crypto journey that I'm going much, much deeper than the average Bitcoin enthusiast. Okay, we're not talking about Bitcoin deniers or Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying? Because there's, I already know how to deal with them very well, okay? Now, I got a comment that I was just gonna ignore because I was just like, yo, this, this dude don't even really know what he's talking about. And it just so happens a lot of people claim that I don't know what I'm talking about. But yet, they have no YouTube channel, yet they're not talking about cryptopreneurship, yet, you know what I'm saying, they haven't decided to become a developer, like uh, front end, like back, like they haven't took the steps I have and, and currently am taking to better understand Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, okay? So this is a learning experience. We're gonna, de we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna uh, talk about it. We're gonna go over this comment and we're just gonna give this guy uh, some, we're gonna give this little, uh, this guy some shine and we're gonna go through his comment and talk about uh, Bitcoin and what he, 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 what he thinks I don't know about Bitcoin, okay? And it has to do with my, uh, my latest video, my last video, Crypto versus Gold. And it's crazy because when I give information about cryptocurrency and uh, the system of economics and uh, finances and money, a lot of people are like, yo, this guy's an idiot. But literally, that's all they say. They have no alternatives. They have no educational value to offer you or anybody else. They think that, yo, since I smoke weed, I have dreadlocks, I'm young, I'm black, uh, I got scammed by Brother Polite. Like, they think that all that disqualifies the information as not being true or not being valid or, want, or at least wanting to learn from my personal experience so that they don't have to go through it themselves in this crypt. Like, people put all that shit aside and then they put their own ego of this guy's an idiot, he doesn't know what he's talking about, but you hear nothing from these people. You learn nothing from these people. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I know that my information will stands valid. And you can Google search and check everything that I'm spitting game. Otherwise, I don't come online to just talk about nothing or make up lies, as if I'm brother polite. So let's go through this comment. All right, it's by C, let's zoom in. 
CIA dad home buyers. I got it from a, a day ago, okay? It says Bitcoin, aka shitcoin. All right, well, well, all right, cool. We'll leave it there. That's fine. There's a difference. Uh, there's actually a, a, a log logical, even spelled coin wrong, a, a logical difference, an economic difference between a Bitcoin and a shitcoin. So he's calling Bitcoin all a shitcoin. So what does that make every other cryptocurrency after Bitcoin? What should we be shitcoin? Just logically, I'm thinking, if he's calling the number one cryptocurrency a shitcoin, what is every other cryptocurrency after that? I mean, if, if the price of every cryptocurrency moves from the number one shitcoin and all the other coins are worth less than the number one shitcoin, wouldn't that be like less than a shitcoin? for every other crypto. I don't know. I'm not trying to go too far, but uh, that's odd that Bitcoin, aka shitcoin, will, okay, will never be sustainable. In what ways? Okay? In what ways are we talking about Bitcoin being sustainable? Because it's the oldest cryptocurrency. It is ten, over 10 years old. And you're going to tell that Bitcoin will never be sustainable? So what does that say about every other cryptocurrency that has come after Bitcoin? Okay? Let's think about that. Okay, I mean like I'm not like being petty here. Like let's think about this shit. All right, it says Bitcoin never be sustainable in what ways doesn't say which way it's the oldest cryptocurrency So seems as sustainable as any uh, as a cryptocurrency could ever be Because Bitcoin is owned by Chinese miners to the effect of over 60% So the first of all, there's no accurate number of How much uh, Chinese miners actually own? Okay, because this is an anonymous system People can show up and leave at any given time anonymously all around the world, 24-7, okay? Bitcoin is owned by Chinese uh, miners. So in order for these Chinese miners to pay to keep mining, they will have to sell their Bitcoin, which means they put the money on the market. So just buying Bitcoin and holding it in China isn't really feasible. And at any given time, there could be more or less. Yes, China does have a very high percentage of crypto miners, but that's due to the fact that of other economics, other markets, other resources when it comes to technology, labor, sources, hardware, that has nothing to necessarily do with Bitcoin itself, okay? China has some of the most, more, more of, a, of an attack on crypto miners than other places in the world. So the the miners who choose to mine in uh, uh, China are the real badasses, are the real warriors of the Bitcoin network. They're the ones really keeping it decentralized. So it would go against their own interest to pull a 51% attack when they have invested time, energy, money, hardware, t space to mine for this network. They would be shooting themselves in the foot to try to make a 51% attack. It, it, it's not logical. If anything, the miners are keeping the sit this Bitcoin network more decentralized and more secure than any other part of the world. And they're the one taking more, more of the risk than other places in the world as far as uh, legalities and the laws are concerned. So, I mean, it, it just, there's so many, so many flaws right away within this uh, first sentence and a half. Okay. Also, it needs a lot of energy to be ran. Now, this is the dumbest statement you can imagine possible. And I get this argument a lot from people who just don't understand cryptocurrency mining energy. First of all, the number one thing is it's not how much, it, how much energy uh, something uses. The real question is how much, where and how is the energy being generated? That is the biggest question. If you got to pull, mine coal, people have to slave coal in order for you to have run energy and gasoline, you know what I'm saying? That is an expense to the environment and to your health and to society, okay? Just because something uses a lot of energy, it's how the energy is generated. If you were, if you were using solar power, hyd wind, hydropower, those are sustainable, uh, renewable energies. And they can, you can use as much energy as you want because it's always gonna be there, more in excess. There's always gonna be wind blowing somewhere. There's always gonna be the sun shining somewhere, okay? Water's gonna be always moving somewhere. And if you're not utilizing that energy, 
it's just going to be wasted. So that's what the energy is there for. So for something to use a lot of energy is not the issue. It's how the energy is generated. Second of all, let's talk about what uses a lot of energy. Liquor stores, staying on 24 seven or if not most of the days. Bars, music, lights, whatever they need to run bars. Strip clubs, music, lights, Christmas lights, churches. You wanna talk about value to society? Banks, airport, you wanna talk about what, what actually gives value to society while using a lot of energy. You're talking about some of, some of the most de debilitating places, habits, social sins, and impurities that use a lot of energy, but yet no one brings that up. No one, no one thinks there's any, any flaw with banks that are corrupting the world, yet have thousands and thousands of employees and buildings all across the world, yet, yet enslaving people economically when Bitcoin can use any form of energy, sustainable energy to sustain itself and it has value of freeing people economically. It just is stupid. It's, it, I mean, it really is. And I, I don't, this is my first video of making something like this, but you got it like for educational purposes, I got to make this video to let you guys know, you got to start seeing, th go deeper and start seeing these things out of the box. So we haven't even finished line two. All right, so also, why would miners leave their computers on for run the blockchain when they won't have any incentive with the halving every four years? God, this guy does not understand cryptocurrency, does not understand Bitcoin. And with Bitcoin nearing its max impact, it, dude, what is this guy thinking? Why would miners leave? Because the market determines the ultimate price. Rarity equals scarcity, scarcity and rarity equal value. When things get the having always doubles or if not increases the price because there's less of it on the market, okay? And Bitcoin reaching its max capacity only makes the coin more valuable because there's it's deflationary. There's only one 21 million that could ever exist, let alone all the Bitcoin that has been lost that can't be accessed to. So we're looking at 15, 16 million out there for the for the entire world of seven billion plus people. You do the math. You take 16 million divided by uh, over seven billion people. You're gonna see one of the most rarest, scarcest assets next to time in the human. You know what I'm saying? Like this is because there's less of it. So the market ultimately will determine whether it's profitable for miners to be on or for miners to be off. That is the game that's always been the game and the game changes when the price goes up and the game changes when the price go down. It's called a market and that will always be a market for something that's rare. Okay? Like that's exactly why people will actually mine at a loss. People will mine and take the loss now. They'll pay the extra electricity now in hopes that the market will turn around and pay them double extra plus everything that they paid before. That's why people do it. And people do it voluntarily to keep a, 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 a system decentralized for everybody else. People will pay for their node to be on. They will pay for the electricity. They'll pay for the extra bandwidth just so that there's a system of decentralized money out there in the world. People will do it voluntarily. So not everyone's incentivized, incentivized to buy money when it comes to uh, the cryptocurrency and uh, Bitcoin network. And not only that, people believe that the price will go up. So that's why they keep their miners on. It's 10 years old. People are actually heating their homes and profiting by keeping their miners on. There's different ways you can utilize the electricity because an offset of electricity is heat. How do you utilize this heat? Heat, you can use the heat in various different ways sustainably. Like, come on, this dude does not do his homework. He doesn't understand what he's talking about. Let's see if I can even get through this uh, comment, man. All right, so what is it? Every four years when big, so he, so he doesn't understand the, the, the scarcity and rarity equals value and that drives the price up. So that's why people have been keeping their miners on. All right, you seem like a Bitcoin evangelist. All right, in my video I said, I know I sound like a Bitcoin maximalist. So he switches it up and says, I'm an evangelist. 
Okay, <clears throat> I'll take it. <clears throat> I never said I was, and I said I acknowledge the fact that I know I sound like, but I understand the flaws of Bitcoin, so I, I don't ever fully go hard and say this is the end all be all, okay? So I acknowledge that already, but he switched it up and said evangelist. This guy's getting, this guy's, I don't know. And a worshiper in the church of Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin doesn't have a church. It has a decentralized network, consists of miners and nodes. Anyone can participate. I'm an active user and trader of Bitcoin educator. So worshiper in the church of Bitcoin. I don't know about going that far, okay? Uh, Bitcoin has had its run focus on other altcoins. Okay, if Bitcoin has had its run, then why is it still number one in the market? You freaking idiot. What other altcoins? He does not give me any alternatives on what other altcoins I should be focusing on. Because Bitcoin's over, yet it's still number one, and yet other altcoins move when Bitcoin moves. So, this just doesn't make sense. Huh. Bitcoin will never be 1 million per coin. I am not sure. I've made that claim in the past. I still think it's uh, logically possible due to the numbers, but that's up That's up for debate. Bitcoin would never, who, I'm sure you can debate that, okay? Who knows? The math says that. Uh, if you actually do the math, do, do 21 million divided by 7 billion people, okay? Let's do that. And then let's take five or six, seven million off the market, which is, uh, has been lost uh, or can never be accessed to. And let's do 15, 16 million by, divided by seven billion people. And uh, let's see how, let's see what the math says, uh, 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 potentially how valuable this coin would be. Okay? Somebody do the math for me. All right? So this guy claims to be a Bitcoin uh, 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 understander of exactly where the price will be and a, a mathematician of knowing what this guy doesn't, it, it's not allowed to, it sounds like a five-year-old wrote this math, uh, this statement about Bitcoin math. If you disagree with me, Crypto Roots, speak up, which I am. If not, stop talking about Bitcoin. So I'm speaking it up, all right? C-I-A-D, home buyers, all right? Not that I'm afraid, but this is educational purposes of why I do this video, okay? It will fail because, you can use the spell checker, it is a dis dinosaur compared to other cryptocurrencies. That makes no sense. There's no logic behind that. If anything, other cryptocurrencies will fail because they don't have the same decentralized protocol that Bitcoin has in proof of work and has not does not have first mover advantage and have the amount of developers, people volunteering and contributing to the Bitcoin uh, network protocol the way uh, other cryptocurrencies just don't have the foundation, the robustness, the Godzilla-like of uh, energy backing it the way Bitcoin does. So saying it's a dinosaur doesn't really compare to all the other shit coins and cryptocurrencies that are actually not doing anything, have no purpose, are pretty much scams and really don't have a community or energy back in it. Just, I don't know, this guy just doesn't understand what he's talking about. It's too expensive compared to what and to who and to how much of what. It's too slow uh, compared to what and to how much. Uh, and it's centralized by Chinese miners. If it was centralized, then you would, we, they would shut down Bitcoin by shutting down all the Chinese miners. We wouldn't have a cryptocurrency market the way we do. Doesn't make sense. Slow. There's called Lightning Network. There's different protocols already in place to make Bitcoin faster. And oh wait, shake my head, open your eyes. Oh, all right. So at the end of the day, this guy gives you no other alternatives to Bitcoin, trashes Bitcoin, clearly doesn't understand Bitcoin, and does not say anything wrong about fiat currency, about enslaving people in the world, about taxes, about printing money, about central banks, about wars and military, oil back in the US dollar. And this guy mentions nothing wrong about fiat currency, trashes Bitcoin, says invest in other cryptocurrencies, altcoins, doesn't give you which ones, 
and doesn't give you why. I mean, wow. You you can't you can't get any more inaccurate like than than this comment. Than this comment. It it it, it sounds ridiculous. And it it just sounds ridiculous. Holla at your boy Crypto Roots. Uh at the end of the day, it's about the information. I may not look or sound or act the way you think someone who understands technology, someone who's a software engineer, you know what I'm saying? I go deep into the realm of economics, investing, technology, I'm a developer, I'm a programmer, all because I found out about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has changed my life and it's continuing to change my life. And I will never claim to know all about Bitcoin. But the more I understand about Bitcoin, the more I realize I don't know. And there's more research and homework to do. And this is the life I live. So just be wary of, of the people who have a lot of negative things to say about cryptocurrency. I will do a live stream. I'll, 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 I, don't, I don't think cryptocurrency is really up for debate, but I'll do it just for entertainment and education purposes only. So, wow. Wow. All right. Much love. Hopefully, hopefully you learned a little something. Take care. Aloha.